Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 9 tonight. Law enforcement and volunteers were out again today canvassing parts of rural Manitowoc County for any sign of three-year-old Elijah Vu. Now many questions surrounding his disappearance remain unanswered, but as Fox 11's Andrew Mertens explains, that's just attracting the attention of people from around the state who are determined to help in the search. Search efforts for three-year-old Elijah Vu have gone on now for nearly two full weeks. After last being reported seen in Two Rivers on February 20th, both authorities and members of the public haven't given up on their efforts to find him. He's just a precious little boy that needs to be found. He doesn't deserve to be out here by himself. In an update Sunday, Two Rivers police said they focused search efforts on rural areas in Manitowoc County. On Saturday, the department utilized the Hope Community Church as a space for operations. Meanwhile, volunteers continue to flock to the Mikado Theater in Manitowoc for search assignments organized by family members. Even if by chance, you know, he did get out on his own, I, I worry, you know, what condition he would be in at this point. Community searchers were also checking rural areas like county roads for any trace of the boy. Miranda Richer and Heidi Burbitsky drove more than two hours Sunday to help. They recognize that it's difficult to know exactly what they're looking for. We don't know the circumstances of why he's gone, so, I mean, he could be literally anywhere. So we have to search everywhere. Efforts to locate Elijah are getting more dire as each day passes. It's a feeling of dread because, you know, the longer he's out there, the chances of him being found alive are getting slimmer and slimmer. And while people are doing their best to keep hope, they can't help but worry about the worst possibilities. I hate to say it, but I feel like the only way he'd be found alive is if somebody has him. So, and the question is, who would have him? With questions still left unanswered, there's one thing that's clear. It's that people will continue looking until he is found. In Manitowoc County, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. Two Rivers Police say that over the weekend, additional searches by the fire department of the, uh, took place from the uh, West Twin River. They were also conducted there. Here's another look at Vu for you. He was last seen at 8 o'clock on the morning of February 20th. This was in the 3900 block of Michicot Road in Two Rivers. Now, Elijah has dark blonde hair and brown eyes. He weighs around 45 pounds and is 3 feet tall. Elijah also has a birthmark on his left knee. Anyone with any information is urged to call the Two Rivers Police. Their tip line is 844-267-6648. So you guys came from quite a ways away, right? So can you just kind of get into why you felt so compelled that you really wanted to help today, especially on a Sunday when you probably have work tomorrow or something, you know? Yeah. Um, well, I'm a mom, um, and if my kids were ever missing, heaven forbid, I would want the world out helping find them. And so we decided to come out here today to, to help search for him. Yeah, he's just a precious little boy that needs yeah. to be found. He doesn't deserve to be out here by himself. So, yeah. how did you guys kind of hear about this? Was this like all over just social media or something? Or it kind of it's just been everywhere. Um, I was at I work in assisted living, and my residents are always watching the news. And um, you know, this story came on when I was at work. I also heard it over the radio in the car. Um, I've seen it on my phone, social media. It's it's been everywhere. Yeah. Um, I guess one thing, you know, it's been quite some time now. It's been almost two full weeks since he was last seen, I guess. You know, you guys haven't been here the whole step of the way, per no. se, but, I mean, no. can you just talk about, you know, like, with every day that passes, like, what that feeling is? Um, as a mom, for me, it's a feeling of dread because, you know, the longer he's out there, the chances of him being found alive are getting slimmer and slimmer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel like at this point, I hate to say it, but... I feel like the only way he'd be found alive is if somebody has him. So, and the question is, who would have him? Yeah. Um, it's been so cold, even if by chance, you know, he did get out on his own. I, I worry, you know, how, how, what condition he would be in at this point. And it's, it's very sad. And I just hope that we can find him. I guess what what's your hope with all with this search? You know, I've heard a lot of people talking about you know they're trying to keep hope and you know yeah like, yeah even if it's finding something I guess yeah yeah I mean going back to like if it were my kids I mean if, just finding him no matter what condition just finding him I mean that would bring so much more I feel like peace for the family hopefully well obviously we're hoping that he's alive but um, you know. Finding him is just, 
that it's going to bring the closure or peace or whatever it may be for that family and and they deserve that and i agree with that 100 percent. yeah yeah he just needs to be found yeah. yeah if it was one of mine i'd want to know one way or the other you know if he's okay or not okay i'd want to know yeah are you guys planning on maybe coming out more like another day say like if this you know keeps going on or i'm hoping to yeah yeah, yeah. I would like so to. yeah I guess, um, is there anything you wanted to add again that I haven't really asked? I know, like, I guess even with where we're looking right now, some people would be like, well, why are we looking here? But I guess yeah. we don't really know what we're looking for, right? Right. right. Yeah, I mean, I don't, it's hard to say that, you know, he would have wandered this far on his own. Um, but we don't know the circumstances of why he's gone. So, I mean, he could be literally anywhere. So we have to search everywhere. Yeah, you don't want to leave any stone unturned. Yeah. So, yeah, and our prayers are just with the families, you know, yeah. and we're praying that he's found. Yeah. So hopefully today. Yeah. I mean, that would be ideal. <laughs>